our marriage, it's over! Several wrestling couples were forced to work together on the same promotion even after breaking up. And yes, it often led to some awkward interactions. I'm Emily May and here are five couples who had to work together after breaking up. Matt Hardy and Lita were once seen as one of the company's most popular couples. But after Hardy was injured in 2004 and WWE opted to allow Lita to remain on screen without him, she joined forces with Edge. One thing led to another, Lita ended up with the rated R superstar the following year in real life. After finding out about their affair, Hardy not only broke up with Lita, but also made the information public, for which Hardy ended up getting fired from WWE. Fans were so upset with this decision that they chanted for Matt every week during Edge and Lita's segments, where they used to come out as a couple. Eventually, the company brought Hardy back and decided to incorporate real-life drama into the storyline by making Hardy feud with the couple. Even though it was probably a tough working situation for all involved, they got through it by putting professionalism first. Big Cass, or Big Bill, as he is now known in AEW, was once in a public relationship with WWE superstar Carmella. The two started dating sometime in 2015, but cracks began to form in the couple's relationship after they were moved up to the main roster in 2016. While Enzo and Cass were moved to Raw, Carmella got sent to SmackDown. Eventually, in 2018, the two of them split up, with Carmella stating that she believed Cass had no plans on marrying her. They would continue working together at WWE for a few months until Cass's unfortunate release. The alleged reason Cass was released from his contract was because he caused a scene while trying to speak to Carmella backstage. Another reason that could have supposedly led to his exit was a segment where he went off script with a person dressed as Daniel Bryan. John Morrison and Melina began dating before making their way out to WWE TV together as two-thirds of Eminem in 2005. The couple would remain together for 11 years before announcing their official split in 2015. However, throughout their time at WWE, they would split several times, including in 2006 when there were rumors surrounding Melina and Batista getting together. Together. The former WWE Women's Champion, however, denied ever dating Batista. In an interview with Jim Ross in 2015, Melina stated that she and Batista were just friends and there was nothing more to it. Morrison and Melina continued to work together on TV until the latter's release from the company in 2011 and would later link up outside of WWE before officially parting ways. Karen Jarrett was introduced to Impact Wrestling by her former husband, Kurt Angle, in 2007. At that time, Karen played a manipulative heel character along with Kurt, which made for a perfect heel couple. However, their marriage would soon fall apart in the same year and the couple separated from each other. Rumors started spreading around that it was at this time that Karen started dating Jeff Jarrett. Those rumors came true when Jeff and Karen finally tied the knot in 2010. Kurt and Karen would get divorced as Jeff was blacklisted from Impact Wrestling for a short time. However, Impact decided to use this real life issue in a storyline. The 2011 Karen was brought back to the company to feud with Kurt along with her new husband Jeff Jarrett. The feud between Kurt and Jeff featured the former couple having some tense moments, which were really, really hard to watch. Many fans still view Macho Man Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth as the first superstar power couple in WWE. Unfortunately, Savage's certain real-life issues made it impossible for them to continue with the relationship. They called it quits not long after their SummerSlam wedding in 1991. But even after they divorced in 1992, they ended up working together at WCW. First storyline saw Elizabeth turn on the Macho Man to align with Ric Flair as a heel. WCW later placed them back together as an item in the NWO. Later in 1999, Elizabeth entered into a romance with Lex Luger, and working with Savage was likely uncomfortable. She stayed with Luger until her tragic death in 2003. Savage married Barbara Lynn Payne in 2010, but just a year later, the WWE Hall of Famer passed away following a heart attack.